Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about sensistor as a transducer. The full form of sensistor is sensitive resistor. Full form of sensistor is sensitive resistor. Okay. Uh, in the previous videos, I have explained several transducers like a capacitor transducer, resistor transducer, inductor transducer, and uh, some thermometers, thermocouple transducer are also seen. So all these are different transducers uh, came, uh, which are used to measure different parameters like a change in pressure gives the ch uh, change in voltage or particular device and the capacitor transducer change in the capacitance value gives the change in the output voltage like the different uh, transducers are there to measure different parameters. Sensitive transducer is nothing but it is used to measure the temperature. Temperature variations will change the resistance of the device. Suppose can you say what is the other device which is used to measure the temperature that means temperature variation should change the resistance variation that is nothing but thermistor that is nothing but thermistor already we have seen this thermistor thermistors are available in four different types there is disc type rod type washer type and bead type if you remember okay if you don't know about this thermistor you go back to uh, the videos so thermistors are also available so uh, what is this uh, now in, in the case of thermistors as temperature increases resistance decreases okay in the case of thermistor I am repeating in the case of thermistor as temperature increases resistance decreases and similarly as temperature decreases resistance value will increase what type of characteristics that the thermistors have now it is having negative temperature coefficient it is having negative temperature coefficient as temperature increases resistance decreases this is resistance and this is temperature but now sensistors are having quite opposite uh, work with respect to thermistors and these are having positive temperature coefficient sensistors are working with respect to positive temperature coefficient what do you mean by this positive temperature coefficient as temperature increases resistance of this particular device will increase suppose if the temperature decreases resistance also decreases that means the temperature is proportional to resistance but here temperature is inversely proportional to the value of resistance so how can you draw the characteristics now like this so as temperature increases resistance also increases that means exponential relation is there between the resistance and capacity resistance and this temperature okay so now let us see some theoretical concept of what are the different uh, uh, concepts we are having on this there is sensistors so sensistor is a non-linear variable resistor it is having a variable resistance depending upon the movement uh, variations of the temperature the resistance increases exponentially with temperature that is the temperature coefficient is positive that is temperature coefficient is positive so 0.7 percent per degree celsius what happens uh, suppose temperature increases uh, 2 degree celsius to uh, let it be 20 degree celsius to that uh, 23 degree celsius 22 degree celsius to 23 degree celsius so per degree one degree variation is there one degree increment is there in the temperature that causes 0.7 percent increment in the resistance value okay that means there will be a exponential relation between the resistance variation with respect to temperature variation sensistors are used in electronic circuits for compensation of temperature influence or as sensors of temperature for other circuits. Sensistors are made by using very heavily doped semiconductors so that their operation is similar to positive temperature coefficient type thermistors. I told you already it is, these are having positive temperature thermistor coefficient type materials and as well as how to make these sensistors by just adding high impurities okay normally we have some concentration levels in any doping uh, in any semiconducting materials uh, so here we have in the semiconductors we are having a higher concentration levels compared to the normal semiconductors so here we are using uh, 
uh, very highly doped semiconductors now that behaves highly semiconducting doped materials behaves more like a metal and the resistance change is more gradual than it is the case for the other partial temperature coefficient thermistors so what you can understand from this point see uh, in normal how we have uh, three types of materials we know that um, conductors semiconductor and insulator so how to prepare a semiconducting material how to prepare a semiconducting material we are taking a conductor and adding some impurities to this then it becomes semiconductor okay now how much amount of impurities to be added it is having a count okay so some uh, some concentration should be there how to convert a conductor into a semiconductor let it be a p type or n type whatever may be the semiconductor we should have some concentration level so if you add more impurities than it what are you saying it behaves like a metal and the resistance of that particular metal can be changed gradually with respect to this uh, uh, temperature variation more gradual variation is there compared to other devices which are working with this positive temperature coefficient term thermistors so the materials which uh, we are using to make this transistor are manganese and cobalt so these are the characteristics of this transistors uh, what are the characteristics that the thermistor uh, that the uh, transistors are having Transistor has positive temperature coefficient. Positive temperature coefficient. What happens? What positive temperature coefficient means? Temperature increases and as well as resistance increases. Temperature decreases. What happens? Resistance decreases. So exponential relation. Exponential relation between these two. So this is the curve because of this positive temperature coefficient. Can you draw the same? characteristic curve for negative temperature characteristics so negative temperature characteristics works like this these are the negative temperature characteristic curve that means resistance value decreases the resistance value decreases decreases until you increase the temperature of the environment or any device okay so now we are having a circuit here where we are connecting this is insister as one of the uh, one of these circuit components rt so now what happens we are applying some heat over there so that the transistor will change because of this temperature variation transistor will change the resistance r value here so that the uh, circuit becomes uh, somewhat imbalanced and produces some output voltage v out okay it is nothing but amplifier um, normally it is a called as a biasing circuit it is called as a biaser circuit where we apply where we are applying the biasing supply plus vcc okay so what is the compensation for this one is we need to make the necessary arrangements of the remaining resistors so that the this the effect will be compensated otherwise if we are taking only the changes with respect to the transistor definitely uh, it uh, to there it is having some particular voltage definitely because of this temperature variation output will be varied okay without variation of this temperature the circuit uh, works normally when the, it is having the variation in the temperature definitely the circuit the output will vary so i am going to explain few applications of the transistor where it is broadly used one is these are used in the time delay circuits if you want to incorporate any time delay in the circuits then there we need to use this sensing transistor elements and the second one is positive temperature coefficient thermistors so if one point is there transistors transistors are also known as positive temperature coefficient thermistors 
thermistors are also sensistors are also known as positive temperature coefficient positive temperature coefficient thermistors okay generally thermistors are having negative temperature coefficient if you specify ptc thermistors that is nothing but positive temperature coefficient thermistors then that is known as sensistor because sensistors are having similar characteristics like a thermistor except that positive temperature coefficient and negative temperature coefficient that's why positive temperature thermistors are nothing but sensistors are used for the motor starting circuits these are used in degazing circuitry and the last usage is these are used as a liquid level and flow sensors these are used in liquid level and flow sensors so this is the these are the application some of the applications of the sensors and the explanation and the, how the variation of the resistance happens with respect to the temperature also we have seen thank you